craft beers are all the rage, and here to give us a little bit more on beerology is Wim, president of Lakewood Brewing Company here in the North Texas area. Yep. What are you going to teach us? Well, I'm going to teach you how to properly drink a beer. Properly. A lot of, you know, a lot of us have grown up with just grabbing a bottle or grabbing a can and just shoving it down slugging our gullet it down. and right. slugging it down. You know, we, we put a lot of time and energy and, um, and flavor and aroma and taste into our beer. So, you know, you really want to drink with all your senses. So let's just take, <laughs> let's just take Lakewood Lager, for example. Um, so this is a Vienna-style lager. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to pour at an angle. You don't want to pour it straight down or you're just going to get all foam. Mm -hmm. And then as you're finishing the bottle up, just kind of straighten it up and you get that nice little head on the top. So right. when we're talking about drinking beer, we want to use all our senses. So first we want to look at the beer, we want to look at the clarity, the beautiful bubbles coming up. Um, and then of course you want to smell your beer. Smell it. Let's smell our I beer. I got tickled earlier because you said you want to use all your senses to drink your beer, then then you lose all your senses and after then you, you lose drink all your beer. <laughs> so you're going to use them and you're going to lose them. Right. Okay. Mm, so, I smell that. So you're gonna you're gonna get some uh, some bready notes, some uh, toasted caramelly notes out of that, mm -hmm. um, and then when you taste it, mm -hmm. of course, um, you're gonna get all that flavor. You're gonna get all that aroma, and you're gonna be really be drinking with with all your senses, right? So let's just do a little side by side comparison. Mm -hmm. You also want to drink your beer at the right temperature. So this is Temptress. This is our Imperial Milk Stout. Um, and this one's sitting, this is probably around, it's been out of the fridge a little while, this is probably around 55 degrees. So this is probably, you know, the temperature that you drink a nice red wine at, you know? Okay. So I'm going to have you try it straight out of the bottle. This bottle's ice cold, we just took it out of an ice bath. Yeah. And then I'm going to have you try it out of that and tell me if you can taste the difference. Okay. Okay. And I like a really nice dark beer too. There you go. I don't drink a lot of beer, but when I do, typically in the summer, I don't know why, I guess it's a good thirst quencher. Right. Well, there's a huge difference. Right. I taste that more back there. There you go. It's got so more flavor. It's got a lot more flavor. I'll be darned. Absolutely. So you can't, you know, if you look at the you look at the space here versus the space here, and you smell that versus smelling that, you're going to get a lot more aroma and a lot more depth. So are you saying we should beer. always pour our beer into a some kind of a glass? You know, sometimes, it, you know, sometimes it's not convenient if you're out on the boat or out on the lake or doing whatever, but. Um, I would always recommend, if you can, mm -hmm. to always put it in a glass. And you know, you don't act, actually have to have a beer glass. You can just use use a wine glass. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, a lot of people have have these laying around, and not necessarily beer glasses laying around. So if you're going to enjoy a nice beer, um, you know, just pour it in a wine glass. It makes a great presentation. Um, you know, we we're talking about Thanksgiving earlier. Mm -hmm. If you want to impress your guests at the table. That's a that's a very very pretty glass. Yeah, and this is such a nice thick beer. It's, it seems like it needs to be. Out. It deserves to come out of the bottle and be in the something. This exactly. Pretty. This should always be in like a frosted mug. I always wondered about no, that. No, stay away from frosted mugs. Why? That's the number one sin. I love of, a frosted bug. It's bug, the number rug. one sin of it'll kill bug. your beer. I told you, I've the bus business. It'll it'll kill your beer. So what's it'll that? kill your beer? It'll kill your beer really well. One really? one you're, one you're going to be drinking it super super ice cold. So you're not going to get the entire flavor out of your beer. And the oh. second part of that icy mug is uh -huh. if you pour your beer in an icy mug, it causes a lot of what us in the biz call nucleation sites. Mm -hmm. So it's all, it's all those little ice crystals on there are, the ice crystals. are a place for bubbles to form. So your beer is going to go flat like that. Oh, but if you drink it so fast, what's it matter? <laughs> to each his own. I'm just giving you a hard time. Thank you so much. Thank this you is so very much. interesting. And I wanted to ask you, where can we find this this brand? We're we're across uh, um, DFW in bars and restaurants, and we're also in Kroger, uh, Whole Foods, Specs, Seagulls, and Central Market. So you, we can find you on just about all the just about the anywhere general stores. You can find craft beer. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, you can find Lakewood Brews like we were just talking about by visiting their website and then checking out their map. Just go to thebroadcasttv.com first and then will point you in the right direction. All right, when we come back, is divorce contagious? When are you, when your friends are splitting up, is it something that you kind of kind of get pulled in between and just maybe might be rubbing off on you too? I don't know, but we're going to talk with some es experts. It's the experts coming up next. <laughs> Y'all don't go away. We'll be right back. <laughs>